Whoa, whoa, whoa. Unit 7. Atmospheric pollution. List all the air pollutants emitted from burning coal. So, the first one would be CO2, CO, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen compounds, particulates, heavy metals, like lead and mercury. Number two, nitrogen oxides are primary air pollutants. However, they can mix with other compounds in the air to make photochemical smog and acid rain. Smog and acid rain are examples of what type of pollutants? Secondary air pollutants. The burning of diesel fuel releases what type of outdoor air pollutant? So definitely lots of particulate matter. In the form of soot, hydrocarbon, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides. In the box below, write a series of chemical reactions that leads to the formation of tropospheric ozone in photochemical smog. So we're going to write down four uh, reactions and then a net result. Okay, so one. Number two. Four. And then net. Okay, number five. What is a VOC? What are their main sources? So VOCs are simply volatile organic compounds. What are their main sources? So includes paint, gasoline, cleaning products. Number six, what in what seasons do we see increases in small concentration and why? Summertime, 
because photochemical smog creation requires sunlight. Number seven, why are there high levels of smog in urban areas? There are more VOCs from cars and industry. A reminder that VOCs are a smog formation reactant. In the two boxes below, draw what normal conditions in the atmosphere uh, look like, and then draw what thermal inversion conditions look like. So I'm going to label it normal conditions there. And then we have land, some buildings, and then we have warm air, and then cold air and then heat is escaping from warm to hot but in thermal inversion we have the same hilly situation and then we have cold air warm air then cold air on top. And so the cold air is actually being trapped here. And there's usually smog within the city. Number nine, why do thermal inversion layers trap pollutants. The warm air layer traps smog near the surface instead of allowing it to dissipate upwards on away from human living areas. What are natural sources of particular matter in the air? So we have rock, dust, dust storms, volcanic eruption, naturally occurring forest fires. Then, what's the difference between PM 2.5 and PM 10? So PM 2.5 particles are much smaller than PM 10. Smaller particles are very dangerous. Because they have a better chance of sneaking past our filtration system into our lungs. 
What are some natural <clears throat> sources of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? So we have ocean, atmosphere, exchange, cell respiration of all organisms, meaning plants and animals. Number 11, identify significant sources of the following indoor air pollutants. Formaldehyde, we have carpet, paneling, treated wood, new furniture, cigarettes. Radon, radioactive, uranium, and soil can leak into basement cracks or well water. Mercury, fossil fuel combustion, industry, like mercury, thermometers, then we have lead, old paint, old pipes, lead gasoline, smelting, carbon monoxide, we have incomplete, combustion, of fossil fuel, wood burning, tobacco, smoke, VOCs, paint, solvent, Cleaning products, preservation products, often in clothing, furniture. Asbestos, old insulation, and fire retardants. List three specific health effects of lead on humans. Mental and physical. Delays in development. Loss of memory. Coma. And 
even death. What is sick building syndrome? When many greater than 20% of people report having adverse physical effects from low air quality in their building. So the symptoms often rely when not in building. So backhouse filters would be fabric filters. Bags used to remove particulate from air. Then electro an electrostatic precipitator would be using a charged plate to attract charged particles from air before its release. Number 15, what is a wood scrubber and how does it work? So, sprays, air with liquid reagent that can react with heavy contaminants. to neutralize their harmful effects. Number 16, what um, is a vapor recovery nozzle on a gas pumps? Oh, well, I guess I didn't answer the second part yet, so uh, let's hold off on that, and I'm going to continue answering it down here. So, 15. And dry scrubber. is similar to wet scrubber but uses a dry spray reagent. What is a vapor recovery nozzle on gas pumps? So it's a nozzle that captures gasoline vapors to prevent their escape into the air when filling a gas tank. 17. What are three things that a catalytic converter does on an automobile?
So breaks down. I'm gonna write in reactions, y'all. So I'm gonna write down 17 over here. Reactions would be nitrogen oxide breaks into nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, carbon dioxide reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, and then hydrocarbons. reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water or a combustion reaction okay number 18 what does the clean air act of 1970 mandate what are uh, naaqs why are they created so EPA must regulate the seven pollutants it covers. The NAAQS is the National Ambient air quality standards so they're created to prevent dangerous air pollution levels are breathing air okay for each of the following substances draw an arrow that points to an unambiguous location along the line representing pH so let's go this would be h2so4 lime orange juice Acid rain, normal rain, blood, ammonia. In the box below, write a series of chemical reactions that leads to the formation of acid rain from sulfur oxides and nitrous oxides. So we're going to be covering sulfur oxides first. So that is SO2 plus H2O yields H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Nitrous oxide would then be 2NO2 plus H2O yields HNO2 plus H, whoops, HNO3. So that would be nitrous and nitric. In the box below, write the chemical equation for the formation of carbonic acid for the reaction of water with carbon dioxide. So we have water reacts with CO2 to yield H2CO3. And 
And then we have this H2CO3 reacts with water to yield the bicarbonate ion. Okay. So there we have it. Identify two places in the environment where the above reaction occurs naturally. So the ocean and the atmosphere. What are some environmental consequences of acid rain or deposition? Low pH rain can leach aluminum from soil and pollute water, killing sensitive fish. Acid rain can harm leaves of plants and shells of animals like snails. How can limestone neutralize acid rain? So it reacts with the hydrogen ions to create H2O using the following equation. Okay, how does noise pollution affect human health? It impacts focus, increases anxiety and stress, and hearing loss if loud enough. What are sources of noise pollution? We have construction, transportation. So this includes planes, trains, automobiles. And then industry. 25. How does noise pollution affect organisms in the environment? So sonar interference could occur, prevents communication between birds, etc. Okay, y'all, that's it for today. Have a good one.